Elisa and the couple had two children. Then they decided to have a third with no idea how he would change their lives. As KMBC 9's Donna Pittman shows us, their baby's birth turned into a business and a mission. What's this one? Diamonds. Diamonds. And what a jewel Max Begno is. Before his birth two and a half years ago, Nathan and Emily learned Max has Down syndrome. As much as you prepare for something, you don't quite know. What this pastor and his wife did know, they weren't dealt a blow as much as a blessing. I firmly believe that like Max was like perfectly created to be who he was supposed to be. To the highest with this blessing comes many medical bills. I quickly realized ongoingly and with a pending heart surgery, we need to find a way to accrue a few more funds to, uh, to live life and to pay off said bills. So to shave off debt, Nathan revisited an idea he had years ago, making bow ties from leather. It's a bow tie, but it's a story. A story that started trying to make ends meet. Now with an epilogue helping others through Madison Street Leather, $3 from each tie sold goes to the Down Syndrome Guild of Greater Kansas City. Why not give back to help a great cause um, that will help many people who are, you know, inspired by their own children, but who also realistically, they, they need they need resources and they need one another. These bow ties of many colors, one more way this family of faith can show love. After all, they get so much. You feel like a fierce love from him. I mean, he's just like, he just clings to you and just adores you. You know, I mean, he just loves people. A boy, bow ties. Square. Square, yeah. Good job, Smarty. A perfect fit. Donna Pittman, KMBC 9 News. Mm. And if you want yeah. to know more about those ties, Donna has a link to the Begno's website on her KMBC Facebook page. And she also has an explainer on their unique logo.